if you haven't heard already, it's uh, three hours and 26 minutes worth of flying time uh, from Atlanta to uh, San Jose. Uh, we'll just take our time and uh, make it safe. Well, we're certainly glad to have you on board. Hope you can uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. We're never ready until it's too late. Born ready, baby. We thought we were ready. I don't, I don't know, probably. We're as prepared as we're gonna get. Ready or not, it's tournament time. And if history repeats itself, the Marlin bike will be the key to victory. Come on, girl. Come on, girl, turn. In leg one, the field released 70 Marlin. Scandalous, using HT hook due to mechanical issues, took first place in leg one. They led for the entire tournament, bolstered by an impressive nine Marlin. We started catching Marlin and we ain't quit yet. <laughs> we ain't quit yet! That's right. It's the greatest competitive field possibly in the world. It's one of the hardest tournaments to win. Everybody is dialed in. Everybody knows what they're doing. Nobody misses. Everybody looks forward to this one. Every year. This is just incredible. You know why you should never go fishing with a one-armed guy? Why is that? Because you can only catch one about this big. <laughs> As registration opens for leg two, the Los Sueños family comes together to tell a few bad jokes and find out what's new. Good to be back. I had to miss the first tournament. Had a little girl December 27th. LaGree Clark Johnson. Been the best thing ever. Glad to be back and looking forward to moving C-Fix out the leaderboard. Hook is new and we're here at Los Sueños. Fit, the function is great. All the places, all the restaurants, we've changed the menus. Check out Bamboo, a little bit more contemporary, but lots of great food. I'll tell you what's new, I'm getting married in a month. So, sorry to all the pretty ladies out there, I am getting retired. We just released four new Vista del Sol villas. Of course, they're pristine, and two of them are actually reserved already, so you have to act quick. You know, it's just not all about these three weeks during the season. There's so much more to see. Zip lining, waterfalling. Fourth of July is a big deal. New Year's Eve is a big deal here. We have a huge Halloween celebration that's dedicated to family, and we have hundreds of people going through the resort. A holiday concert every year on December 28th, and then uh, we have a massive New Year's bash at the Beach Club with over 2,000 people, so there's always something to do. Having family and friends here, you can't beat it. It's a hell of a deal, for sure. We're going with Pepper on some Freedom Alliance stuff here in uh, May and June, I believe. Some of the military heroes out on the boat, so that ought to be very interesting. We now have all teams checked in, so we have 41 boats participating. Tina and I are at the hookup every morning by 5 o'clock at the very latest. Bono suerte. There's a lot of ground to cover out there, so where do you go? and how do you determine where to start fishing? That's the key. I think we should all go down and get on our knees and pray for fish. <laughs> we got a new boat and we're crossing our fingers. We're gonna start it off. I need three numbers at 803, please. <laughs> Gotta get on them, get on them quick and stay on them all week. The guys will probably see 10 to 15 cell fish, a couple of marlin, so it's, uh, it should be really good. Morning. Day one, day one, ready to go, war party. We're looking Enjoy. forward to a great day. Lots Enjoy. of luck, buddy. Lots of luck. On day one, there was plenty of luck to go around, but the enterprising anglers were leaving little to chance. I got my good luck charm with me, my son. Yeah, and we're going to catch them all. Look at this. Don't show anyone. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. What? Got an ace on my sleeve today. Oh! Pretty sure as long as that ace is listed as a pro angler, everything is above board. The best boats, the best fishing, best weather, best location. Can't beat it. As the boats head out for the first day of fishing, let's ride along with War Party. For this leg's angler profile. Uh, the War Party is a 60 foot Viking. We have C32 Acert engines. Caterpillars. Uh, Mr. Loki bought it from the Blue Eagle crowd here in Los Sueños, and we've had it for almost three years now. 
Well, I'm very fortunate. I have a great team that we've put together here on War Party. Our first mate is Kyle. A lot of people know Kyle as Squid. He's famous in the industry, one of the best anglers. Michelle, Seagull, Sailfish over here. <laughs> Whatever, nickname. Never misses a fish. Don't put that hurt on me. Outstanding. We have Justin the Pants man over here. He just is a great addition to the team just this last year. That's what I'm saying. Name me one superhero that doesn't wear tights. Hulk and Iron Man don't count. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta know him to love him. Fico, my man, our, our first mate has just been uh, with us since day one about. Great guy, great family guy, great addition. We got somebody here in the back we picked up. I don't know who that might be, but she sure is pretty. And I think that might be my girl, Angel. We got Pablo, who uh, has been with us now for about a year. And Condor is a new addition for this tournament. He's gonna be up in the tower watching. Brandon became my captain day one. Very, very knowledgeable, hardworking, dedicated, knows his stuff, and great guy. Uh, I started fishing with my father at a very young age in Florida. Got my captain's license when I was 18 years old and been doing it ever since. Just very lucky to be in a fishery like this around some of the best teams in the world. Go right flat. We've definitely come a long way in the last two and a half years. Uh, when Mr. Loki bought the boat, uh, not a whole lot of billfish experience. Well, I've been fishing the Gulf of Mexico from Clearwater, Florida. We fished the Kingfish Tournament Series down there for the last seven years. Have a uh, 42 yellowfin. I bought this boat three years ago knowing nothing about sport fishing. I've made my whole buying decision on the salon. If the salon was pretty, I wanted it. That was it. We've got to learn more. I appreciate more of the maneuverability and the fish catching ability. I didn't know anything about it. I wanted a pretty girl. <laughs> it's odd, she's pretty, I like it. But I love tournament fishing. Leg one, we finished second to last. Year two, we climbed up halfway up the leaderboard and this last leg, leg one, Day one, we actually tied for second place, so we're getting a little bit better, slowly but surely. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One of the few Florida natives born and raised in Clearwater, Florida. I own four auto dealerships in Clearwater. Loki Nissan, Loki Volkswagen, Loki Kia, and Loki Subaru. Been doing that my whole life. I'm Paul Loki. Yep, I gotta get back in that. This weekend, all you have to do is remember, blog your lines. Price below Kelly Loop, 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 Loop. Okay, so maybe our commercials aren't great, but the deals sure are. Come see us at Loki Nissan. I would say the only thing that Mr. Paul Loki is more passionate about than bill fishing is Florida State University and college football. Watch out, Florida State is going to get back to where they have always been and belong, numero uno. Now when I named the boat, I wanted something that would be tied to the Seminoles and also we fished like the tournament fish, wanted something badass, something, you know, macho, and we're trying to come up with names, Seminole win, and this and that, and a friend of ours, wife, she goes, how about War Party? Perfect. That's where War Party came from. We got a triple. Well, I'm excited. I just bought a new condo, but Alfredo from Los Sueños Realty was my realtor, and Alfredo says it just became on the market, Paul. It won't last a week. And I said, come on, Alfredo, I'm a car guy, I know. That ain't gonna work on me. When we did go up and look at the unit, it is a top floor corner unit, and I looked out, though, there's nothing to the right of me, no neighbors, it's nothing but the rainforest, and it is amazing. And I said, Alfredo, I'll take it. Hey, lucky pants, superheroes. You know, it was a so-so morning and it got red hot in the afternoon. We had five sales by 11 o'clock, which was decent. But then in the afternoon, we got a blue marlin. You know, I got lucky and got the blue. And then it was just red hot from two to four o'clock. It was nonstop. Nothing slowed down War Party, including a snapped leader that struck mate Fico during a double hookup. Luckily, some rusty pliers were nearby. The leader was stuck in him. He was trying to pull it out, and he went over and wired the last fish with the leader still stuck in him. 
He's a stud. Fico's a stud. <laughs> War Party ended the day with an incredible 16 sales, one Marlin, and some unforgettable memories. And we were in there till the very, very end. One doggone fish, Rich, and we'd be in first place. The top three boats were all neck and neck. Team Galati just 200 points off the lead. We found an area we liked yesterday. We, we went back there and fished it, and it made, you know, we paid off. We got that marlin bite, which is always a, the wild card bite, and uh, it really helped us. And hopefully tomorrow we uh, find a good area and keep picking at them. <laughs> off duty came into the dock celebrating their two marlin and first place finish for the day. Today was just our turn. It was, our number came up, and uh, you know, we boys made it happen. Everybody did a great job. We called a grand slam. We called a uh, called a striped marlin first, and then uh, we called a blue marlin a little bit later. So, uh, yeah, two marlin and dozen sails. We'll take it any day of the week. Believe me, we got excited on this boat. The first place crew went a perfect 14 for 14, catching every fish they saw. Thank the Lord, because we needed every one of them. A couple of them boats were coming on strong there at the end, and. I have some sweaty palms, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jump your hands, Jump your hands. Jump your hands. <laughs> Check out the hands from the old blue one there. Oh, yeah, Marlon got my up. teaser, lit me up pretty good, but it was worth it. We'd like to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> the leaderboard is jammed with top tier teams, all within striking distance. Every boat that finished in the top 10 on day one caught a Marlin. And heading into the second day, the biggest movers will be the teams calling in Marlin releases. Well, uh, who's taller? Because I got to stand on my tiptoes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> who's thinner? Hella taller. <laughs> the dock can be a weird place early in the morning. Lots of luck. All bad. All I know is I have not had coffee this morning. <laughs> it's day two. Morgan had a good day yesterday. We were side by side, caught marlins one right after each other. He's on the surface, go back! Well, we've been on this marlin for a very short time and all of a sudden it turns and starts running at the boat and it's a big, big fish and we thought it was going to jump right in the cockpit. Release! <laughs> it ended up putting a hole in our transom door. It was very exciting. What do you think? Are you going to have a good day today? Of course, we're going to replicate yesterday. Absolutely. One or two better. In right. my case, ten better. <laughs> we're hoping for three better. <laughs> By those standards, there's going to be a lot more holes in the back of the Morgasm. It goes without saying. I mean, everybody knows that these are the best fishermen in the world right here. A wild day two saw twice as many marlin released as on day one. Tar Heel got maybe the best show of the day. It was a blast. Always in the hunt, Tar Heel moved into third overall with a marlin and seven sails. Captain John did an incredible job. It was a lot of fun. But real joy had the best day. Three marlin and seven sails bolstered them into second overall. We had a minor mechanical issue on the real drill yesterday so uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, borrow the uh, Duffy's uh, agitator and uh, thank you to the Duffy's for that we really appreciate it um, went out there this morning caught a blue marlin in the morning um, the boss man John G caught it on the left long uh, nice fish um, picked it a couple sailfish through the morning and uh, right around lunchtime we uh, ended up pitching to a nice blue marlin on the left teaser started fighting him had another uh, smaller blue marlin follow the teaser in as we were clearing our lines and uh, I was fortunate enough to pitch a, a dink rod to it and ended up catching him and uh, so we ended up with a double header blue marlin around lunchtime. But it's the banana free Team Galati that leads the pack heading into the final day. Mr. Microphone's on the bridge. The whole crew is just amazing. We're really blessed with it. Just an awesome team, just like everybody else has here. You know, I mean, talk about a move. How about uh, the, the real joy from 21st or 25th or 21st, whatever it was, all the way up to second? Anything can happen here at any time. That's the most exciting thing about this tournament. You never know what's going to happen, particularly with these marlin around. Team Galati released a pair of marlin on the day and enjoy a 500-point lead. 
But it don't mean nothing till tomorrow, buddy. You know, got a lot of great fishermen here that are right on our tail, and it's a fun feeling, but it's short-lived. In the blink of an eye, the third and final day came quick, with everyone knowing exactly where to be. Left teaser. Right, right teaser. teaser. I'm really excited. I can't wait for us to go out there and get lucky. Oh, shoot. I can't have a better team. Those guys did great. I mean, they make me look good. <laughs> they uh, they caught every single one you know, that I showed them yesterday. Yeah. Outage made the biggest move of the tournament on day two. Their three marlin pushed them from 35th to fifth place overall. Kind of slammed yesterday. I think I had a black marlin, a couple of blue marlins, and a bunch of sails. And uh, Ian really got us on him. He's one of these guys that's just voodoo smart. I mean, you just kind of you give him uh, great boat and a great crew and some adequate anglers and you can really make it happen. Eight o'clock, lines in, lines in, good luck. And the outage crew begins the third day with more voodoo smarts, catching the first fish of the day. Marlin on the outage, please. Outage with the marlin, your time is 8.09. Their fourth marlin of the tournament pushes them into third place, but no position is safe in the warm Pacific waters just outside of Herradura Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage tournament director, Ashley Bredisher. Good evening, everyone. Starting the awards out for tonight, we have Tar Heel coming up for a check for $24,400. Tar Heel released 33 sales and three marlin for 4,800 points and finished third on time. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to the outage team and the Glotti team, such great Fisherman, it's just an honor to be even up here. Hope to see you back on leg three. Go Tigers. <laughs> In second place is Outage coming up to receive a check for $36,600. They also achieved 4,800 points, but they released 23 sales and five marlin. If, if we could just get a collection to get Ian a shave, um, <laughs> that would really, really be big. And uh, anyway, thank you all. Um, and thanks just for being so, so, so welcoming to us as part of this brotherhood. And we just really appreciate it. Thank you. Next, we have the first place team coming up to receive a check for $61,000. Team Galati, if you can come on up. They released 25 sales and five marlin for 5,000 points. First off, thanks to Bill Royster for creating paradise in the best fishery in the world. So thank you, Bill. Yeah. Secondly, got to thank Ashley and her team for running the best tournament in the world right yes. here at this place. So right. that's just awesome. I love you all. I can't wait until leg three. Look so forward to seeing you again on March 25th for leg three. Good night and enjoy the fireworks.